Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this tire iron and I feel it's a good exercise to learn how to create the dome feature and the sweep feature. Let's start a new part file to see how we can create this. We are going to start a new part file and click OK. The unit is in inch. On the top plane, we are going to start a new sketch. So select the top plane, select sketch and start a new sketch. Then I'll draw a line from the origin point like that and also draw another angled line, something like this. I'm going to add a dimension to it. From this line to that line, the angle is going to be 105. We are going to add a dimension to this line. It's going to be 16. And we are going to add a dimension to this line. It is an aligned dimension. And the dimension is going to be 5. Lastly, we are going to add a fillet. The size of the fillet is going to be 2.25. And we are going to add it to this point And click OK. We have a fully defined sketch. Accept it and exit the sketch. Next, we are going to draw a plane on this point. So come to Feature, Reference Geometry, Plane. Our first reference plane will be our right plane. And the second reference is going to be this point. And click OK. Select that plane and start a new sketch on that plane. Go to number two. Then we are going to draw a circle. We are going to add a dimension. And the dimension is going to be 0.625. We have a fully defined sketch. Exit your sketch. I'm going to hide my plane because I don't need it. Come to feature. Swap boss. The profile is our circle and the path is our line. Then click OK. Next, we are going to click on the top plane again. But before we do that, let's click on this drop down on this sweep and let's show sketch one. Then now let's click on the top plane and start a new sketch. I'm going to go normal two. I'm going to zoom in. Let's draw a line that is on that sketch line. So I started my line on that sketch line. And I'm going to draw it to that point. And let's draw another line. Draw a shape like this. Let me zoom in. Draw something like this. Then let's clean this up. Make sure this point is coincident with this edge. You can select that point holding down the control key, select that edge and add the coincident relation. We are going to add some dimension. The angle here between this line and that line is going to be 30. This line and that line are going to be perpendicular to each other. And this line and that line are also going to be perpendicular to each other. We can also add another dimension here. This line and this line are going to be parallel. Then let's add a dimension from this line to that line. It's going to be 0 0.625. And and finally, the dimension of this line, which is an aligned dimension, is going to be 1.5. We have a fully defined sketch. Come to Feature, Revolve. I'm going to revolve it by that midpoint line and click OK. While we are still in this view, select the top plane again and start a new sketch on that plane. We are in the sketch mode. If I zoom out, you can see my origin point there. Let's start a line from this point to that edge. Let's draw a circle 
on that edge and draw something like this. Make sure this circle and that line are tangent to each other. And let's draw another line that is tangent to this circle and touching that line. Select that line and the circle and add the tangent relation. Then we are going to draw a line coming down. Make sure this line and that line are perpendicular to each other. Then trim this excess out. And we are going to add a radius for our circle. It is going to be 0.1. We have a fully defined sketch, come to feature, revolve by this midline and click OK. We are going to add a fillet, select fillet. The first dimension is going to be 0.75. We are going to add it to this edge and this edge and click OK. Now we can hide this sketch because we don't need it anymore. So just hide it. To hide it, all I did is right click on it and click that eyeball. Next, let's add another fillet in here. I'm going to select fillet and the dimension is going to be 0.25. I'm going to add it to that edge and click OK. Next, we are going to select this face and start a sketch. Going to go number two, going to zoom in. We are going to draw a polygon. It is going to be six side. I'll start at my origin point and drag it out. Select this point and your origin point, add the horizontal relation and the dimension from here to there is going to be 0.875. We have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to go to feature, extrude cut, and the distance is going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and click OK. Next, we are going to add a dome in here. To create a dome in there, come to insert, Feature, Dome, select this face and add a dimension and it is going to be 0.25 and click OK. Next, let's select our front plane and sketch number two. And I'm going to start a sketch, a midpoint line. I'm going to draw a midpoint line. I'm going to hover over here until I see that orange point, which is the midpoint. I'll select that point and draw a line going up like that. Then I'll add a dimension for that line. Dimension is going to be 0 0.05. Then let's draw a line from this point coming up like that, touching this edge. Now we'll draw the same thing on the bottom. Select this point and this point, add a vertical relation and let's add a dimension. So we add a dimension from this point to that point is going to be two. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's come to the feature tab. Select extrude cut. We are going to select the thin feature. The dimension is going to be 0.7. And for direction one, it is going to be true or direction two, true or. Just in case if you don't see the preview, select this direction at thin until you see it. So change the direction. So when it is going in the right direction, you will see the preview. Once you see the preview, click OK. And this is how you create this part. Next thing you can do is add an appearance to it. Under appearance, I'll go on paint. Now add this red paint to it. And this is how you design this part. 
Thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial.